not focused on the coastline waiting for you Isn't she all of us pining for the last case the permanent truth that means to get through Maybe we cry while soulful when we think about the past being cruel And we're back and this week we are in Switzerland so I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the weather in Europe this summer, but the temperatures were super duper high. We were looking at 40 degrees almost every single day. One of my really good friends from university, Darby, came to visit me, and we realized we had to escape the heat. So we took the train through the Black Forest to Switzerland, and the first thing we did as soon as we arrived in Kornstadt is we went to a chocolate factory and we got Swiss chocolates. The next day we decided to go up into the Alps, and we went to the Santis to try and cool down a little bit. I'll keep you safe. Try hard to concentrate. Hold out your hand. you can see Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. So I was literally floating in the middle of three countries, which was super cool. Afterwards, we went and visited Debbie's husband, who owns a cattle farm. He asked me um, what I wanted to name him, so I got to name a calf. It's called Linnea. in Switzerland was to make fresh apple pie out of the apples in their orchards. So then my time with the Myers was coming to a close and I went to visit their nephew, Matthias, who lives in Winterthur. So I took the bus to Winterthur and it was really cool. There was a music festival going on. So we went to the music festival. Next 
morning, this was super cool. So I woke up and went out for breakfast and Matthias was like, hey, do you want to go to Zurich for the day? Yes, I want to go to Zurich for the day. So we ended up just running, literally, to catch the train, got on the train, and in 30 minutes we were in Zurich and we went swimming. absolutely gorgeous. I had so much fun there. It was a nice cool down from the heat of Germany and it was really nice to see our family friends and get to do some really cool activities. I checked off my bucket list of having Swiss cheese in the Alps, seeing cows, naming a calf, eating Swiss chocolate, and making an apple pie from apples in the orchard. All in all, a pretty successful trip I would say. As always, if you would like to continue with my travels, um, you can follow along on the link below. If you want to see my last video, you can check it out right over here. Next week, we are off to Dublin. I'm super excited. I'm going to be in Ireland for a year. So the next couple of videos will be different cities and counties in Ireland that I'll be visiting. Hope you guys follow along and we'll see you.